So recently I stumbled across this old channel titled Debunkasaurus Rex, which makes videos about libertarian thought, and I initially thought that this was a satirical channel, because the arguments put forward are so laughably bad that it doesn't seem like anyone could honestly think this way. But I did a bit of research and found that their videos were being shared on Reddit unironically as refutations to libertarian thought, and read some of his comment sections and his about section, and realized, Oh God, this guy's not kidding. And I realized that I've been going after what could be considered by many to be low-hanging fruit a lot lately, and I promise that I'll make some videos on actual content soon, but I simply can't let this go unchallenged. So this channel has like 50 videos, and I'm not going to be responding to all of them, but I just wanted to let you all know this, since the channel is a fucking goldmine for content creators looking for some absolute dog shit content, which has gone relatively unchallenged over the years and actually has a following of people who take it seriously. In fact, some of these videos aren't even arguments that libertarians have ever made and are just shit that he's straight up pulled out of his ass. For example, he has a video responding to a supposed new libertarian argument that all wages should be based on tips, and a video in response to an argument that the government should be run by consumer reports. I've never heard any libertarian make either of these arguments, and both of these arguments run directly contrary to libertarianism in ideology, so it's likely that at best these are just straw man arguments. The two videos I'm going to be responding to, yes, I'm doing two because this shit is just that bad, are his videos on anarcho-capitalism and self-ownership. And trust me when I say you need to brace yourself, because nothing is going to prepare you for how actually fucking bad these videos are. And the very first thing that he says is a complete straw man argument. Anarcho-capitalists do not advocate for a government that is privately run. Hint is in the name anarcho-capitalist. ANCAPs advocate for a stateless society in which all associations take place on a voluntary basis and reject the state on the grounds that it doesn't have any proof or reason to support its existence as there is nothing which actually shows that people are bound to what it does or that it has any legitimacy in what it does. And because of this, the state hierarchy is inherently illegitimate and coercive. And as for the last part, no, ANCAPs believe you can homestead or trade for land voluntarily, but don't think that all land necessarily has to be privatized and operated for profit, or that the privatization of land has anything to do with how the society operates. It's not a good sign when in a four minute video you demonstrate within the first five seconds that you demonstrably don't understand what you're criticizing. Well, again, ANCAPs don't believe in any form of government, but I assume you're just referring to private businesses in a stateless free market, which don't even remotely resemble governments because they can't initiate force against people. And to your second point, no. Again, this is a complete misunderstanding of the ideas you're arguing against. When someone says, vote with your wallet, they don't literally mean that you're casting a ballot made of money. It's a metaphor for consumers rejecting the least cost-effective or inefficient by selecting a product created by another producer. And the argument isn't even that people will arbitrarily choose an ethically created product over an unethically created one. It's that in order to reduce costs for commodity production in a competitive free market, you need to reduce the quality put into each product or the working conditions in the facility it's produced in.
Producers will lose money if they produce products which aren't as efficient to shave a few cents because no one wants a product which doesn't work and no one will work for a producer which doesn't pay them as well or treat them as well as a competitor. There is simply no room for unethical practice in a free market because each unethical action will directly cost a producer profit. So no, it's not vote and pray that they get the message, it's they produce their commodities right or we, the consumers and the workers, will trade and associate with a different producer that will. <laughs> Wow, now that's amazing how fucking stupid this one is. In fact, there's literally not a single aspect of this statement which is correct. Do we have a free market? No, we have a corporatist system where the government steals from people against their will to fund businesses, taking away any incentive for them to compete because they've effectively been guaranteed an income, where the government imposes restrictions to make the cost of production and trade more expensive so only the biggest corporations can thrive, and sometimes just straight up uses force to shut down competitors. Do we have a competitive market? No, listen to the previous answer again. Do we have an anarchist society? No, and that one couldn't be any more obvious as to why it's wrong. Do we have a society where all association is voluntary and there is no monopoly on violence, coercing people based on arbitrary rules that they make up, and not only not abiding by their own standards, but having no obligation to since there's no legitimacy to what they do or evidence that any of us ever consented to it? OF COURSE FUCKING NOT! You know, there are times when I sympathize with Anne Prims because one of the negative aspects of civilization is that people who are too dumb to breathe survive childhood. And someone who's this fucking dumb should have never survived infancy! No, you don't. Why? Because you have no fucking idea what you're talking about. You don't even have a basic grasp on the ideas which you are representing. And I'm not going to continue either, because this entire video isn't even an argument against anarcho-capitalism. It's just some half-wit deconstructing a straw man argument he created for five minutes and pretending like he's refuted an entire philosophy. But he did make an argument against one of the philosophical roots of anarcho-capitalism, and that's the second video of his I'll be responding to. Hopefully, since he's actually responding to a metaphysical, oh, who the fuck am I kidding, this one's gonna suck diarrhea chunks out of my asshole as well. <laughs> Nope, complete fucking straw man once again. Self-ownership is not the idea that people are property, only that they have dominion over themselves, their actions, and choices, and therefore, by extension, the results of their actions and choices, either positive or negative. And this is axiomatic. It's the reason why criminals can be held accountable for their own actions. It's the reason you can have independent opinions. It's the reason you make choices to do things that differ from others. And naturally, because of this, no one can claim ownership to you as an individual since that would be an internally inconsistent position and no one could not own themselves because that would mean that they can't make their own actions or thoughts which runs in direct conflict with observable reality in fact self-ownership is self-evident the only reason that it even finds a place in libertarian metaphysics to begin with is because self-ownership objectively proves the legitimacy of property rights and the illegitimate Demissy of coercion or initiating force. <laughs> Yeah, planet logic, even though every single one of your videos is nothing more than a non-stop barrage of straw man arguments and nonsensical responses to arguments which sound worse than if you were to just make a video consisting of nothing but bumper sticker political rhetoric. <laughs> Except no one ever said people are property. No one except for you used the word property. It's not self-property, it's self-ownership. Ownership being defined as the act, state, or right of possessing something. Ownership does not inherently infer property relations, you fucking clown. <laughs> 
Except, again, as established, property and ownership are two separate things. By the way, that's a classic example of a sleight of hand trick. You say that property is created by people, then you say that the concept of ownership is created by people without ever making that argument. Incredibly fallacious, but I didn't expect any different from a quasi-intellectual fuck nugget like yourself. And no, self-ownership is not a man-made concept. It's an objective conclusion reached by applying logic consistently. You're so dumb I wouldn't expect you to understand that it's possible to reach objective conclusions because there are lines of reasoning which simply work and don't work. But that's how it is, and because of that, there's a natural law which exists. <laughs> Oh, I can't wait to hear this. The YouTube content creator who makes their own content with their own opinions on their own decides to make these videos, trying to argue for determinism. Whoa, what are you talking about? Owned by who? Wait a minute. No. Are you seriously about to argue that the state not only owns its citizens as slaves, but that this is a legitimate practice? No, 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 no. He's a few chromosomes short, but he's not gonna go there. That, that would just be straight up evil. I mean, right? But to respond to your point, nowhere in the definition of ownership does it infer that you can't own and be the owner of yourself, since all it means to own something is to have possession and dominion over it. <laughs> Um, no, that's actually quite literally the definition of what it means to own something. Yes, and if you actually understood what you were arguing against, you'd realize a scenario like that is actually prevented specifically because of the existence of self-ownership, and without it, you couldn't reasonably argue that this was illegitimate. Ownership is legitimate as long as the property in question was obtained by either creating it or voluntarily trading for it because it is an extension of your self-ownership as an individual, your actions. For someone to take it from you, they would have to either argue that self-ownership doesn't apply to them, which is an internal inconsistency and therefore can't be justified making different rules for themselves than anybody else, that they own you, which can't be justified for the exact same reason, or that determinism is a thing, and since they chose to steal your car, that would directly contradict reality, which is one of the many ways in which the state is illegitimate. It makes different rules for itself than private citizens to justify stealing from us and initiating aggression against us. He fucking went there! He actually fucking went there. No, I I am done. I am done.